Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. This time is of the Sentinel DMC5 Nero. Now, I gotta honestly say, uh, I'm super excited about this. Uh, I love Devil May Cry 5 to the point where I, I, listen, I played that game a lot. I'm gonna play it some more after this because having these figures in hand made me want to enjoy it even more. Uh, didn't realize how much I loved the game until I sat down and said, you know what? I would even take monsters from this game. I'll take a V figure. You know, I, the more I played with these, the more I was like, wow, these are great. So 1000 Toys has done it again. They've given us something we knew that we wanted, but just pretty much told us how bad we not only needed it, but wanted it. And with Nero, they took it to the next level and gave us something really, really made out of love. And I do appreciate that. So shout out to those guys. Also, thank you for getting this early sample to me. So I want to say thank you for that. Don't think I'm not appreciative. But anyway, let's jump into the figure. Now, Nero is dope. Like, I know you guys all love Dante, but I have a thing for Nero and his new Devil Bringers that he brung out in 5. It definitely changed the game and how cool you could bring it up. Now, since we've gotten him, for those of you who have not played the game, I'll talk about later uh, how this kind of hope we get a different version. But anyway, let's talk about the figure. I've, I've yammered on enough. Now, this guy is dope, but one thing I'm going to add is that uh, thanks to my friend TJ... I can't unsee the fact that Nero looks like Cody Rhodes now. Like, they have a similar look to him. So, if I gotta see it, so do you guys. There we go. That detailed face is really nice. The blue in the eyes really come out. The hair is sculpted very well. It's not super shiny either. Just looks really good. So that menacing but smiling face of his definitely looks great. The jacket is cloth, and they use the 1000 Toys uh, Hellboy look. But well, what they decided to do was make the soft plastic abs. So under it will be the system for articulation. And it's rubber. It's soft. And it won't go bad. So as you can see here, flexes right in. One of those things I really enjoy. The next system looked really good. And it pokes out a little under and over. So as you can see, you can flex it up a little bit. And get a lot of nice range on it. I know some people are thinking the jacket is pretty big. But the reason why that is is because it allows for the maximum amount of range that you're going to get on these figures. Because characters like Nero and Dante do really insortable, like impossible feats in the game. So as you can see here, the articulation looks really great, but the jacket looks a little baggy. I really don't mind it, especially it'll keep the articulation of the figure. Keeps it very well. We'll notice on the right arm where his Devil Bringer is that we have the torn off part. It's actually not rolled up. I like that they added that on. It's a really nice look to it. And on this side is actually the rolled up sleeve. The patterns and designs are all there. They even kept the hood. So if you wanted to even roll this hood up, it is wired as well too. So you can actually uh, form fit it. It's like look a little down. Really nice. The hood looks a little big, but again, when you pose it up, none of these things are going to be issues. So I don't think it should be an issue visually unless you are don't plan on posing it up. So I think you should. The arms are double jointed. As you can see here on both, they rotate very well. They have the standard Hellboy look. So as you can see here, even though he has it, it folds up on a jacket. And speaking of that, let's actually take the jacket off by removing both the hands and showing you what's underneath. We have to be a little more careful on the Devil Bringer side of the arm because it can get caught in between those joints. So let's actually take this off, voila. Let's actually just pop the whole arm off. Because I'm going to make sure I cover just about everything with this guy. At least try to. Let's just get you off, hopefully. There we go. Now, even with the jacket off, Nero still looks absolutely fantastic. They made it seem like the jacket was still covered. They give you a synthetic arm cover-up, which looks fantastic, by the way, and it looks great. Even without the jacket, it looks good. So let's say you wanted to add a different jacket, like the DLC costumes that you unlock in the game, or vice versa, blah, blah, blah. All that is very much possible with this figure. Now, we're going to cover up the rest of the body, and, and then we'll put the jacket back on, because I definitely want to talk about that. You actually get a nice new rotating leg joint, so you can see that you can form a gap, or you could push back in with the legs. It's really nice to have that. Then we have a nice upward articulation. 
leg is double jointed as well. So you'll see here, actually it's one single joint. I was wrong, it's not a double joint. There's a single joint that can actually fold all the way back, gives you maximum articulation. There is a boot swivel and there is a generous ankle pivot, like beyond generous. Goes back, forward, toe pivot, rotates in all which ways, so that way you can get the maximum range on this guy. So voila, see? And we still have that super nice thigh cut, which came out so nice. So even when you pose this guy up or do certain moves, or you're gonna like, even when you're prepping for a devil trigger, as you can see here, if you had him posed up, none of these things would be an issue posing wise with this guy. It looks absolutely fantastic. I know it looks a little naked out the jacket, but I'll get into that in a second. The reason why I'm not putting it back on yet. So, there is a backside twitch to it. So, let's say you don't put the jacket on, right? There is a switch here in the back that allows you for holding your, your items, storing the Red Queen, his signature weapon. When you want to store the Red Queen, you will leave this tab down. And you will align it here. And voila, you can turn it, mix it how you want. Makes it seem like it's invisible, just like in the game, how they hold their figures. So I think that level of engineering is beautifully done. Just so you don't, ugh. if you didn't know, it's also on the jacket. So now I'm gonna put the jacket back on so you can see what's up. So let's slide this arm in, voila. Let's try to get that robot arm in, or, yeah, let's try to get the robot arm through. I don't wanna take it off and put it back on, voila. That was actually a lot easier than taking it off. I haven't even gotten to all the other accessories yet. There's going to be a lot to cover with this guy. Now, with the jacket, there is a small opening on the backside, which is dope because that's also for, again, storing the Red Queen. You let it poke out just a little bit, voila. Line up the Red Queen, which I'm, I very nicely want to leave on, and voila. Here we have Nero lined up with Red Queen, looking beautiful. So if you want to have it kind of poke out a bit, you can, or you can just have it stand there. Either way, looks absolutely fantastic. Even him just standing here with no arm, I can honestly say Nero looks fantastic. It, these figures were made beautifully, and I don't think anybody knows just how beautiful they are. So I'm gonna attach back the Overture Devil Bringer and attach back on the arm. And as you can see here, double jointed, nice joints very strong but also super poseable and smooth oh man these came out so nice now with overture you also get a secondary hand which is a closed fist and you have the open palm one i started off with his open palm but he does come with another hand i'm going to show you those in a second now for overture which is your new devil bringer that you get in the game you can actually rotate this as well which is really nice but just like in the game, Overture, you can carry up to three times. So what they do is, let me lift this arm up. They give you a space on the back for carrying two extra pieces of Overture. So oops, I dropped it. <laughs> so here you have, you just pop that in. You get these two extra pieces. They'll have a nice little extension joint here. And these are the prop ones. So you won't have the ball joint in the arm. But just for visual sake, voila, there you go. I also want to talk about the jacket very briefly. The jacket is also wired. So this is what I was talking about with it being a little big. And the free-flowing form is going to look big here on him. But if you're doing any sort of the moves that he does in the game, this won't look bad at all. I really enjoyed the fact that they took all of these things into consideration. They really did. Now we're also going to talk about the all the accessories that he comes with. Now, you have a lot of Devil Bringers. I'm not sure even which one to start with, but let's start with the Blue Rose, which is a signature handgun. Very nicely done. It looks like you can move this, but it can't. It's just a very nice opening gap to make it look a little bit better than what it is. And I really like that. You get a trigger hand for it, for holding it, voila looks fantastic you get a closed fist for you want to punch your bad guys with your bare hands and you get the weapon holding hand for the sword which fits on just fine you can just pop that in with no issue 
and you guys already saw the relaxed hand or the taunting hand, depending on how you want to go about it. Now I'm going to start with the Devil Bringers, which you get a lot of. The first one up is the Gerbera. The Gerbera is the power hand, also has the sonic attack. This one is made for defense and agility. And as you can see here, anytime you want to just pop that on, voila. So here we are with Gerbera. Looks good, right? Next up, we have, ooh, oh yeah, Punchline. So Punchline is the one you ride <laughs> in the game. So this one is the one that shoots like the rocket on. It's very nice. They didn't give it to you in its uh, calm form. Well, it's a uh, stationary form, only in a rocket form to give you that more action. Let's see what this one looks like plugged in. So Gerber actually has that extra extension because of that. Looks really good. Next up is Helter Skelter, which is the drill piercing arm. This is how you, uh, in the game, this is how you uh, get through enemies with very high defense or special shields. So Helter Skelter. So if you ever watch Yu-Gi-Oh! and you wanted to be Big Show Gardener, this is what you would do. You would get Helter Skelter, at least in the DMC world. Then you have Tomboy. Tomboy is very nice color. Looks like the construction hand. It's weathered. It's nice. And most of these, if not all, have the ball joint on it. So you can do what you want. You can still pose it up and look very nice. Next up, we have the Buster Arm. And this one doesn't have any sort of joint because he doesn't have a real uh, hand. It's literally a gigantic claw hand. It's really nice. And these are all beautifully painted. Very nice things. And it's just, it's crazy good. <laughs> Next up, uh, what did I forget? I, f I feel like I'm, oh, Rawhide. I feel like I, I don't know all the names, but I, I do know the names. So Rawhide is the one that extends into a whip-like. They've only given it to you in the whip-like state, which is I'm okay with. But if you want to combine it with the Blue Queen or the, or the Red Rose and do anything cool with it, get any combination stuff, it is not wired, but it can hold its form. So there. Um, oh, yeah. Last one is Ragtime. This is the one that can pretty much slow down time. This is a super powerful arm, but super fragile in the game. And it's even fragile here because I didn't want to mess it up. Uh, you have to be very careful when putting this one on because even though it has the proper joint for it, the, uh, the little triangle here is very fragile. You don't want to break that. So here we are with the Ragtime hand. You can slow down time with this one. All beautiful arms. Now, one thing I do want to test out, and I'm going to use Tomboy for it. I want to take one of these hands and see if I can replace the joint on it by taking this out, plugging it into Tomboy, right? And seeing if I can plug it into the side, which voila, I can. So if you want to show your other hands plugged into the side here, just to show that what you're carrying in the game, you can do it in the figure you can definitely do that. This was not in the instruction manual. I just wanted to test it and see if you can do it, and you totally can. So keep that in mind. Last but not least, oh, I want to make sure I do this right and put it back. You will get faces. So for Nero, you will get a angry face, which looks very silly without his head component. So you'll see it in photos. And then you get the smiling face, which also looks really crazy, but I just had component. And for the head, voila, what you do is you actually uh, take off the front plate and pull down because it's attached in two parts. And then as I attach it here, you can see with the hair, it looks a lot better. These face sculpts were done very, very nice. So actually, let's put this head back on. Whoop. I'm definitely going to need two of these because this, this is amazing. So let's put Tomboy on. Now, now that we've pretty much gotten over everything, we can go over how he looks with other toy lines. So let's do that for as soon as I line up the Red Queen again on his backside. Voila. So let's stand you up as much as possible. Got your grinning face on. Now let's compare you to some other lines. First up, we're gonna do Dante. 
Because why not? Right? So here he is next to Dante from Devil May Cry. Whoops. Was too busy not focusing to focus. So here are these two guys. They look very good together. Dante's just a tad bit taller, but that's only because of the hair size. But otherwise, they look pretty good together. And that's what I like to see. Now we're going to compare it to some other stuff. So here they are next to a 1000 Toys Killy. Just to show you what they look like next to other 1000 Toys stuff. And then a 1000 Toys Synthetic Human. Mm -hmm. And then you see they actually are a tad bit bigger than previous 1000 Toys stuff. So that upscaling a little bit definitely works well for those of you who are going to mix max lines just like I do. Now, you're going to compare it to a... Excuse me. Let's move you out of here. We're going to compare you to an Articulated Icons Ninja, a Marvel Legends Captain America. All right? So as you can see, he's pairing pretty well with both domestics and imports. Here he is with an SH Figure Arts Cougar. And a Hasbro Lightning Collection Red Ranger. Let's pick your helmet up so we can see you look straight. Voila. Nero definitely sizes up well with just about everybody. At least on the normal scale side. So we're going to get into a little bit of a bigger figures as well too. Now, here he is next to Storm Collectibles Sector. A little small, but you know what? That works out just fine. Nero's used to fighting people much bigger than him, and I think that's okay. Here we have DC Essentials, Black Manta. And then we're going to do a Mythic Legions figure. A couple of them, actually. So here's the... Fe Oop, before you fall, here's a female Barbarian. And then we have an Ogre. For those of you who have gotten ogres now, voila, much bigger. Now we're going to compare it to a Mezco Gomez. So I move this ogre out. And I think he'll scale just fine with some Mezco stuff. And because I'm going to do it with Dante too, in case you want to put him in your uh, Marvel vs. Capcom lineup, here's an SHF Ryu. So, yeah, I think scale-wise, this guy will fit in just fine and really well. It shouldn't even bother you. These guys are going to be all over the place and they're going to be wonderful. These are excellent toys. But if you have your gripes, totally fine with that. That's your opinion. But I find this toy to be one of the best toys released this year, assuming that it actually is released this year. I have an early sample. It may actually be released in January, but it's still one of the better figures to come out. It's one of the best engineers there are. And... I can't say enough that I wish I would, we get more. Now, also one thing I want to add before I go. If you have an articulated Icons Ninja and you want to use the longsword, right, as a Yamato stand-in, the sword actually fits in the hand just fine. Only thing you have to worry about is tying up that sheath and getting a ribbon. And then voila, you can have your Yamato as well if you want to do DMC 4 style. So keep that in mind. As always, guys, I hope you found it informative. Hope you've enjoyed, and as always, be good, do good, drink your water. Later.